Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool keyboard app for iOS brought by Google. Yes, it's called Gboard, and it's an awesome keyboard that's available for iPhones and iPads. I'm using it here on the iPad Pro, but it works on any iOS device, and it's awesome first of all um let's tap on the app itself so you guys can see all the things you can uh, actually control here in your keyboard you got glide typing if you want to turn glide typing off you can turn it off i keep it on on every keyboard that i use emoji suggestion you got auto correction auto capitalization block offensive words you could turn it all on or off I could tr i'm gonna turn it off because sometimes i don't like when uh, for example if you're trying to write suck Instead of suck, it, it writes it writes down duck. So I just keep that like that. Character preview, enable caps, uh, show lowercase letters, shortcuts there, clear my dictionary. Um, here, search, you can also uh, control prediction, predictive search, um, contact search, if you want to have access to your contacts. And you could do that as well. Turn on locations and all that. Very, very cool. That's all you can do here in the keyboard itself. Uh, but now let's go ahead and open an app. Let's go ahead and open OneNote right here. Um, it's going to start typing here. Uh, what's cool about this is that one, it looks a little bit more like the normal Apple keyboard. Like you see there, it looks like a normal Apple keyboard. But right here, it has the Google icon. Tap right there and it open search. You can see there, it open search. Um, Type close there and I'll close here. We're gonna write uh, testing uh, keyboard. See there, app awesome. Um, and for example, let's go ahead and say we want to search for something. Click right there, uh, right here. We could go ahead and start typing here, like for example, Wonder Woman. Right there, one click search and look at that inside of the keyboard you can actually search on google that is amazing i really really like that uh let's say you want to share this or copy this to the clipboard or to your note there it is look at that we just copied it to the note right there that is so damn awesome the other thing is not only can you see like uh, news searches you could tap right there and it'll show you pictures of wonder woman so if i want to tap right here boom it copies it to the clipboard if you tap right there boom it, it, you can use the clipboard icon and you can go ahead and adjust it and that's it just like that that is so damn cool um of course you can also for example let's go back to wonder woman there uh gifts as well so the great thing here is that not only do you get search, which is basically it searches for news, the latest news of whatever you're searching for. It gives you pictures of whatever you're searching for. And it also gives you GIFs or GIFs, however you want to call it as well. So if you want to tap right here on one of them, of course, it copies it to the uh, clipboard. So in the clipboard, you tap right there and there it is. It's in your notes. Uh, of course, you can resize it. Um, when you send it, that's when somebody, who, depending who gets it and their device, that's when you, they're going to see the effects on, on all that. That is so, so damn cool. Um, of course, you can type by gliding your finger here. Uh, this. Oop. <laughs> um, here you got prediction as well so if you find a word that you want to replace for you go like that it also predicts um basically the more you use this app the more it's going to learn how you type so it's going to give you prediction here uh, for example giving you a prediction of what's the next word you might want to use can we have to be whatever all that very very cool um of course here you got um bold italic under, underline there you could change that as well and this of course is always going to be the clipboard there so here if i want to delete that i could delete that but of course uh, this is going to behave dependently on the app that you use but it works perfectly good on any application this is the normal um apple uh, note app and it works as well like see here depending what application you're using this right here is going to change like here you got the scribble 
or the or the writing with a pen or whatever and that's it here is where everything actually changes uh, when you tap right there you're gonna have access to emojis as well and believe me there's a tons of available emojis there so if you pick if you pick one you could tap on it it'll write it there you tap and hold like see there you can like zoom in into the into the emojis very cute and if you do like uh, gifts this is awesome because it, it has tons and tons of gifs that if i'm not mistaken this is being searched from um the google search engine so uh, clapping you got it all by category you got thumbs up so you got a bunch of thumbs up of uh, gifs there very cool no look at that <laughs> angry <laughs> so this is very very awesome very nice that this actually has that uh let's go and choose oops there boom there you go <laughs> so you see there and of course depending on the application you're going to be able to resize it like right here i'm having a hard time to resize but that's because of the application this is that the simple um texting or note app from google uh from apple which is, i don't really like I, I prefer to use OneNote. for me it's one of the best um uh, note apps out there in the market and um, I gotta say it's a very awesome keyboard app that it does everything that I want to especially the gliding is very good uh, Google always does a great job when it comes to uh, predicting what you want to type and the gliding feature Google has done an amazing job on Android and bringing it here to iOS and you know iPhones and iPad this is awesome and of course this feature right here it's just amazing um, and like you see here it keeps a history of all the things you search for click right there and right here without leaving your keyboard you can see all the news, the latest news there. Tap on it, share right there in, in your note. Uh, you got pictures, you got GIFs or GIFs, however you want to call it. It's so damn awesome. So damn awesome. Click right there, boom. Here, of course, with one note, you could go ahead and have access right away and adjust it there very awesome very well done it's totally free so make sure uh for those that are new to ios or ipad don't know how to replace it your keyboard uh make sure you just download the app go here to general then in general here you're gonna have keyboard here in keyboards and right here is gboard uh, to add a new keyboard all you gotta do is tap right there and you're gonna see the app for example gboard you're gonna see it right there just tap on it and when you tap on it it's gonna appear right here and right here you make sure you turn it on make sure you click allow that way it will allow full access to the application if there's an application that you are using like for example swift key you could make sure you disable all those that way it, they don't conflict uh, when you're trying to use a keyboard and basically that's it that's all you have to do once you do that you're gonna have full access to the keyboard and it works very cool um here this icon right here if you tap on it it changes uh from keyboard to keyboard like see there it's gonna change to different keyboards uh that's a feature that's available for um ios so wherever you see this world um icon it just changes from keyboard to keyboard if you have 10 keyboards it's going to switch to 10 keyboards and that's it so just make sure you download this application it's totally free totally worth it uh try it out so guys thanks for watching the video this was gboard for ios from google awesome keyboard go ahead and try it out guys